The last time I was up here making a video, I talked about autumn coming in. As you see, the trees are still a bit orangey and stuff, but uh, <laughs> things have just changed. And a little hard to see that, but you can see there's some white there. Well, the snow has arrived already. And I have to come out and take some photos. We're just gonna go on a small trip out to the dogs again and my friend gonna see what I can get but there's a lot of snow up there and this is gonna be cool and one more thing I'm actually testing out the Canon R6 now as well I just wanted to see if this would be a good camera to swap for my EOS R I've heard a lot about them I'm not gonna make like a full-on review here but I just want to test it out and I think this is a good way to test it out great for the video as well and I think for the photos I actually tested it out yesterday for a wedding and it went really well. I'm really pleased with the photos. So, yeah, let's go on a little adventure. I'm not gonna make a big video here, but uh, this is gonna be cool. So, as you can see, there's some snow here. I'm not really sure what I'm going to be able to get because uh, the tops of the mountain are kind of um, in fog or probably snow so I'm not sure what I'm going to get here when it comes to photos um, but I could get something interesting but uh, yeah it's kind of hard to see anything on the tops at all but the fact that there's just so much snow here already well not that much but I mean couple of centimeters, at least enough to cover the land. Um, I think it can make some really interesting images with the contrast between the autumn trees and the snow. So I'll just have to see if I can get anything cool out of this. Ah, but it's so good to be out here. It really is. It's quite wet in there right now, it's a lot of droplets coming down. It's obviously a little bit warm up here, which means, well, I'm kind of hoping that the higher we go now, maybe some snow will start falling. Um, but there's still a lot of snow around here, so that's not really a problem. Um, and also I've been testing the um, IBIS on this, so I've managed to get quite a few shots below 1 60th of a second, which is actually pretty cool, which means I can get some good shots handheld without having to use a tripod and that helps a lot uh, yeah hopefully things clear up a little bit on the background on the over the mountains and I can get a few better shots of the landscape but uh, yeah just gonna have to see what ends up happening fun trip anyway There's this little uh, stream just running through the ground here. And it's nice with a bit of snow around. Um, but what I want to try and do is actually test how well um, it'll work with the stabilization. So I'm probably going to try it one twentieth of a second, see if I can get the motion of the water and see if everything will be stable and where it is sharp, it should be sharp without any blur. So I just wanted to quickly test that out. So I thought it'd be really nice just to see what I can get and how well the stabilization actually works um, on this camera.
one thing I noticed even for video with the tracking, um, it's actually pretty good. I got it to track one of my feet, but every time I took a step, it would swap to the other foot. So each time, uh, if one, the foot that I originally told it to track, went out of frame, the other foot was in focus because it would just follow and track the other foot. So it makes it really easy for filming. Um, so tracking on this is actually really good. I wasn't expecting it to be that good, but uh, it's working out really nicely. And one thing I forgot to mention, I'm actually filming this whole thing in uh, 4K60. Had no signs for overheating or anything yet, but then of course I'm in a cold place, which will make things a little bit easier with that. <laughs> but so far, I'm really enjoying this camera. Uh, it's doing a pretty good job and compared to the USR, I feel like I can really rely on this. Sure, it's 20 megapixels compared to 30, but those 10 megapixels for me are not a huge deal. This is just working out really smoothly and that's what I really want in a camera. See, visibility up here is a little bad. Um, there's a the fog surrounding us pretty much completely, and can't even see the mountain at all. There's a mountain right there, which is more than 400 meters high above, and I can't see a thing. So, I'm not sure what we're about to walk into, but. Uh, one thing's for sure, I'm having a bit of fun taking photos of the water. There's a few really cool little spots where there's these little streams just coming out of the ground and that's been really fun to take photos of. Um, but yeah, a little difficult with crappy visibility, but I have to make the most of it. Pretty much as high as we're gonna get today. Um, still quite a lot of fog around and it seems to be clearing out in a few little spots but then behind us it is dark and full of fog again so we'll probably get hit with a good bit of fog again. <laughs> Snow's even deeper up here probably about 10 centimeters thick. It's really nice though and it's not even that cold which just makes this a little bit more pleasant Oh, but it's really pretty up here, even though I can't see that much, still really stunning. Oh, what a nice day. <laughs> it's so good. This is pretty cool. There's a cabin here that you can actually stay in. You don't need to have a key or anything. So this is open for if you come up here and you need somewhere to stay, then you have that option, which is really nice to have. Um, not all places do that, but uh, it's really cool when they do. And so it'll have a bed in there. You have stove and everything. Pretty cool. a few spots now that open up a little bit as we go a little bit down and you can start seeing some of the valley below in the background here but uh, still quite a fog above us um, but uh, I think I've gotten quite a few nice little shots around here definitely a nice little day 
Wind is starting to pick up a bit now, so it's starting to get a little bit chilly. But uh, I think it's really kind of nice at the moment. Ah, what a nice day. But uh, I think I'm going to end up in end. But I think I'm actually going to end up ending the video here. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is I am shooting with the 35mm f1.4 art which I've also been taking the photos with. I just really like this lens and it's really great for landscapes. And it seems to work quite well on the R6 for video as well, uh, which is really nice. Uh, oh, so good. But anyway, um, I'll catch you all in the next one. But for now, I'll see you all soon.